Tune in today while I show you how to make a dishwasher safe handmade coffee mug. Hi guys, Sarah here with Doing Daisies. Today we'll be making a stenciled coffee mug. This is a really simple project and I think you will be really happy with how it comes out. It will be a perfect gift for anybody. Um, I know Mother's Day is over, but it would be a perfect Mother's Day gift. Um, birthday present, anything like that. Um, a gift for a new mommy. That would be perfect. New mommies always need coffee. They never get enough sleep. Um, but what we'll be needing is just a coffee mug. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. And I have my stencil here. Whoops. Mommy needs coffee. And I picked this up either at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I can't guarantee you which one. I've had it hanging around for a while. I'll be using some gold enamel paint. And this becomes permanent when you bake it on. So you do want to make sure you have an, um, an enamel that you can bake on. The Last thing I'll be using is just a cosmetic sponge and, of course, some water to dip it in and just something to wipe your hands off with and keep everything neat and tidy. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the stencil. I'm just going to place it on the coffee mug. I want to be sure that it's laid out so it's not crooked on the coffee mug. Um, so it looks like down here, feels like I've got it pretty much even. I want to push down, make sure you have your stencil really well adhered. Um, if it's not, you will get a lot of bleed through from your paint. All right, and that seems to be pretty good. Of the all right now that we have that well adhered I've got just some of the fuzzies and so forth off that we're hanging out on there what I'm going to do just zoom in here a little bit so you can see it a little bit better You just want to shake up your paint, make sure that you have that really well um, mixed up. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just put some of the paint right on a piece, little piece of freezer paper here. And I love using freezer paper because cleanup is just throw it away. All right, and then what I'm going to do is just dab on. That's a really pretty gold. So that I have a nice, even coating, not too thick, on my stencil here. Sorry about that. And then I'm just going to go down and very carefully, just using a light hand, light coat, just right over your stencil there. And we will be doing more than one coat on this, so you don't want to go very heavy. You'll end up with just a lot of paint that seeps under your stencil, and you really don't want that. Okay, now we want to just let this first coat dry for a few minutes before we go in with any more. So we'll just let that sit there. Then we'll go back and we'll do some other coats. And I'll be using the finer edge here of the cosmetic sponge just to get gently into any nooks and crannies.
Alright, now that we've got the paint on, um, we're going to go ahead and carefully pull off the stencil. Okay, there we go. So, Mommy Needs Coffee, right there. That's beautiful as it is. Um, we have to go back, it looks like, right here and just touch up a little bit the E. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Ah, and the M now. Okay, and for this, I'm going to use just a small round brush. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let those dry. Uh, we can go back, touch those up a little bit with a razor blade, clean them up if we need to. Um, once those are dry, we're going to move on to baking our cup. Okay, and while we're waiting for the cup to dry, um, we do want to go in. You always want to make sure that you wash your stencil um, because it will deteriorate faster with the paint on it. So you can just take it and use a sponge on it and clean it off. You will want to actually do it in the sink, but um, you do want to work on it getting that off. Um, you can use a scrubby just a little bit, very gently. Um, of course, you can scrape it off like this, but you do want to be sure that you get that stencil clean. All right, so I'm going to do this while the cup is drying, and I will see you soon. All right, now that this is dry, we need to take it down, and we need to put it in a cool oven. Then uh, we need to heat it to 350. We need to bake it for 30 minutes, and then turn the oven off and allow the cup to cool in the oven. So in about an hour, our cup will be ready to go and top rack dishwasher safe. All right, so let's go get this in the oven. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button as well as share it with friends who may also enjoy it. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button and when the notification bell pops up, be sure you hit that as well so you never miss a video. And as always, have a great day and stay crafty.